Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for this what will be the final episode, episode 28, here on Silver Run with me, Farmer Murphy. Well, it's a very snowy January here in Silver Run as you can see and uh, this is going to be a much shorter episode I'm thinking it's just going to be a wrap-up um, just confirmation of having accomplished all the goals we set out uh, originally so one of the goals was to own all the productions on the map and that we do and of course we've added a number of productions and they are now currently all running uh, at 100 percent save our lime crusher of course which we just run on as needed basis but our bga uh, our spinneries down here and our tailor are all running uh, every recipe at a hundred percent as are all the productions we have on the map of course that includes the dairy as well but this is what we came in to take a look at because we finally have some clothes so I will sell those off and I will put that production like all the rest on selling uh, the only one that isn't on selling is the uh, sawmill down here where we're using it to feed our boat production our animal pens are nearly all full uh, we have one more cycle of births on the cows required which is coming up in a couple months and it'll be full of course our sheep pens are all full oh wow <laughs> forgot to move the wool this morning so i need to do that our chicken pen is nearly full but we have way more chickens than we originally uh we're planning on we're at 500 currently out of 700 that's uh that pen can hold and again in a, in a few months that will be full as well so we're just staying in maintenance mode i'm keeping all the productions running at 100 percent um you can see that evidence of that i should say by our money because we're at like nearly 1.3 million dollars now we have uh nothing more to spend it's, uh money on equipment wise I didn't put in the sugar beet field or the uh, cotton field again. We're not going to be here. We're simply uh, basically waiting for our forest to grow up. I did go and plant in those bald spots uh, where uh, we had identified them. So in total now I've planted pretty close, I th would say, to uh, 500 trees. <laughs> one, one tree at a time. That is... Uh, not at all tedious <laughs> but anyways we're just waiting to see the result of that and if uh if you recall my original plan was to have two logging areas log one off reseed it move to the other and hopefully the first one had grown back up in time uh, uh or before our second area was completely logged off so that's what we're just waiting to see uh I have logged off a fair bit of the, the other area, but also our trees are, are getting pretty close, I gotta, I gotta think. So that was kind of the last thing I just wanted to prove out and just take a look how I did on the tree planting. So I'm just going to continue on in maintenance mode here. It's the 1st of January, as I think I mentioned. We're at 1.2 million. We'll just see where we're at in a few months' time. It'll be sometime in the spring. And so we'll catch up with you there and uh, we'll check out our reforestation and then we'll say goodbye. So we'll see you in a few months. Well, it is April 1st and we can finally take a look at the results of our tree planting efforts. Also, we're going to take a look around the map and just kind of do a quick tour. So I thought we'd start that here up at the home place. Um, very nice house that we acquired here when we moved to Silver Run. Now, we haven't done a lot up here. We've just kind of left it natural. Um, the only addition we put in is we did add the garage, uh, the same one that Mikey had, because I thought it would uh, fit in good up here. So, it took a while, but it's finally there. But other than that, we've just left it in the natural wilderness state very nice place i think now our truck is oh didn't mean to do that meant to open the doors <laughs> i was saying our truck is in here so let's uh 
take a tour around. Now I had our truck painted, it was looking a little rough, um, but I painted it up just for this occasion. So let's start by going to our um, logging area that we replanted. Now, in total, we cut down 1,424 trees and we replanted 200 and, or no, sorry, 465. So we, we definitely took way more trees out than we put in, but part of that is because of areas like this. You can see the uh, iron furnace where it was sitting, that was all forested. And here where our uh, cotton field is, that too was all forest and obviously we didn't plant. And where we put our hay field in there uh, across the way, that had a few trees. It was mostly an open meadow, but I did take a few out there. So that accounts for some of the difference. Now, <clears throat> this area up here, I never uh, reseeded in this staging area. Again, the kind of the idea was that we come back and re-log this after the other area was uh, logged out. And that one we replanted and then we just bounced back and forth. Oh, there's our marker on our spruce tree. So now you can see how big uh, they are. But if we go into construction mode here and we just fly around a little bit. Um, so I reseeded in here and uh, you can see the smaller trees there. That's the ones where I came back in and filled it in, filled in some of the gaps. That'll be the same over here. Um, now, if interesting, if you come up here, remember we kind of crept up the hill and then we started planting trees in here. Well, you can see pretty enthusiastic <laughs> up here in this area. And then it started to thin out. And remember, we had this bald spot here, a uh, rather large one. Well, you can see now that's where those other smaller trees have popped up. Um, still missed a few areas. It's kind of tough to do with that one tree at a time when you, you know, you really have no idea of where it went. Um, so that's, that's a little thin on the back side. But this front side here, I'm pretty happy with. Um, and of course, like it's thick as thieves up in here. <laughs> look, look how close I got him there. So, not too bad. It's definitely reforested. Are there as many trees in there as we took out? I don't think so. Um, if this was a little thicker in here, I'd say, uh, yeah, maybe yes. But anyways... Uh, it is done and it looks reasonably good. Now when we get to the main farm, the areas I um, planted in there actually look really good. But that's just, that's dumb luck. <laughs> I did it the same way. Uh, they were all done with the willy-nilly effect. So let's drive over to where we're currently logging, which is over by the um, sawmill. Now, as I mentioned, I can't remember if it was last episode or at the beginning of this one, I didn't replant in our cotton or sugar beet fields. I knew we weren't going to be here on the map, so I didn't. Probably should have put in the effort, but I just didn't. I kept up with the logging and uh, let the other things fall by the wayside. Now, for this little trip, we'll stay out of cab. One, because the windows are a bit tinted in this truck. And two, so you can get a bit of one last kind of look around as we uh, drive around Silver Run for one final time. <laughs> now, uh, normally I would delete this game save and uh, be done with it. But as it turns out, my two and a half year old granddaughter just loves riding the roller coaster so i'm going to keep this game safe for her for a while as long as she's interested in coming on and riding the roller coaster so actually it'd be two game saves i have for my granddaughters that i can't get rid of one who loves the animals and one who loves the roller coaster that's all good though I'm glad they enjoy it. Okay, so this is the plot where we've been currently logging off. You can see it there, uh, the bald hillside. Now, as it turns out, this plot of land is quite a bit larger. 
like I've got a fair bit of logs like you know that could be still taken off of here but I think I've actually logged off as as much area as uh, we did at the other place I think um, and I did replace our other case with this is the small uh, other small Volvo wheel loader we have the big one up at the iron ore and I just put this one in a little while ago and used it because uh, uh, just because I wanted to we really didn't need to it didn't do anything that the other one didn't do but I just wanted to so now I did log off there were trees down in this area and I made this into my staging area because it was fairly flat um, and if we jump into construction mode so I've logged off here all up this hillside I'm actually working up on the top here's where I stopped um, that's a pretty good hill though uh, that was pretty steep logging I've been very neg negligent with this tree stumps in this area because I knew it wasn't coming back um, but the land extends to the road out this way and down to the well essentially the road or the creek actually down this way and then runs over to around this tower basically this road here so you can see uh, I can't zoom out any farther but there is lots of trees left on there so uh, we certainly uh, could work on that for a while before we had to move back over to the other uh, area again if I were uh, replanting this I just do the hillside and I'd leave this area that I did take the stumps out of this flat area here for a staging area again but that's where we're at down here oops so maybe I'll swing around a little more than that all right let's head to the farm and take a look at things down there I have enjoyed this map I think it's uh, I'd have to say it's one of my I think I can say safely say it is my favorite Giants map I've really enjoyed it uh, we have what 310 hours uh, in on this let's play on this map so that's a pretty decent number of hours and not Bally Spring hours but still a pretty pretty good number of hours to accomplish what we did here Now we could have, uh, like I said, used the tree planter and planted those areas. And actually, um, when they do replant a lot of areas, you can see the trees are all lined up in perfectly symmetrical rows. I didn't want to do that for a couple of reasons. I wanted to use the new tree planting system that came with um, the platinum expansion. And also I wanted to have a more natural look. I didn't want it to look artificial kind of return it to its natural state. And here's our now familiar farmyard. Now we have our heated shop here. Um, can't remember if I mentioned, but I did buy the heavy hauler version of that truck. We have to put our uh, cotton trailer in here. I was going to store it in one of the open sheds, but it's too tall. But then we have our cotton harvester, our beet harvesters tucked over there, our large tractors in here. We squeeze down here, our sprayer, our rock picker, and uh, our trailer for our green truck. And way back in there, behind all this stuff, you can just see the green of the harvester and the harvester header is in here. So it's a pretty, pretty impressive and pretty full shop. Oh, I, you know one thing I forgot to do? We'll do that. Now I meant to check the animal pens to see if they're all full. And then we have our open sheds here, some trailers. 
that we use. Now, currently, our chore tractors are pretty much all sitting uh, outside here, the ones we use for doing uh, chores. There's our haying equipment on this side and our cedar planter. Oh, shoot. I meant to straighten that out. This thing moves um, over time for some reason. Sorry about that. I meant to straighten that out before we started this, but I forgot. Now, if we take a look at our bale count here, we have, what, 43 um, straw bales left. We have, uh, what's that, 42, 76, 76 silage bales, a couple different sizes, and uh, uh, 47 hay bales. So we have lots of capacity for grass. So taking the large one and silaging it and the small one and making hay makes us totally self-sufficient. And realistically, we could uh, sell some of that off. The interesting one is the straw bales. It's really nice to see those left over. And I'll explain why here in just a few minutes when we get around to the other side. But our sheet pens are both full. I know that We've, they've been full for a while. Um, where was the cow trigger on this one? Was it on this end? No, I think it's actually on the other side. Let's run around here. I think it was here. Someplace. Where's that trigger? Can we find it? There it is. No, those new bursts haven't happened yet. Um, so how close are we? Take a look, see. Oh real close 80 percent when those bursts happened the pen would be full so we're operating with the pen that's not quite full but it's providing enough manure and slurry to keep our bga running and enough milk to keep our milk running full time so if we go in here and we take a look at the productions we have every production on the map and we are running every recipe and we've run every, every time we bought a production we've run every recipe full time since then so you can see uh, i guess the one exception being our lime processor we haven't run it full time we just ran it when we had stones but they're all running and have been since we purchased them and uh it's all been working out pretty well actually we've been able to be totally self-sufficient in that now this one spinnery is being distributed to our tailor who's making the clothes now we are a little shy on cotton we're about two months shy um, but what i've been doing is uh, i've been saving up our fabric here now we are one shy I just went and looked from the boat so one of these has to go to the current boat build but I believe this uh, spinnery running both cotton and um, wool will have uh, a, an extra pallet or two throughout the course of the year. Now that might be enough to uh, augment the shortage on the cotton. I'm not sure. But if I were to stay here and wanted to fix that, what I'd simply do is I would take one of our barley fields, our smallest one, and put cotton in, and that would be enough to bridge that two months, I'm sure. And we'd be totally self-sufficient. We would have enough cotton, or I'm uh, sorry, uh, enough uh, barley on one field for our chickens, and I think we probably have enough straw. Um, that's why I was happy to see those... Uh, 43 bales still sitting there. Of course, it, we're a few months away from harvest, but we'll use nowhere near up 43. So I think one field, uh, the large field of barley, uh, will provide enough straw too. Um, so I think that would work if we wanted to be 100% self-sufficient. Yes, sir. That pen is full. So just the cows aren't quite full, but they're very close. Um... Yeah, so I can't think of anything else I was going to say there. Oh, um, and our boat. I've kept the boat fully running since we started, too. And there's uh, probably later this month, there'll be the, the next launch if we were to stay here. Now, if we were to jump into construction mode here, I must say I'm really happy with how this yard turned out. Um, you can... 
see the different elevation changes. But this, of course, was all forest. We logged all this off, and then uh, we put those trees back in and uh, built this area up. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's been kind of a fun yard to play. Everything is kind of separated a little bit. Um, yeah, um, it, like I said, I'm just really like the look of it. It looks like it fits in here. To me, anyway. And just, we'll review one more time. These are additional productions we put in. The sawmill, the dairy, the spinnery, or sorry, the tailor, the two spinneries, and the BGA were all additional productions. As uh, you remember, our agreement with the town was to, you know, get the town up and running and make it prosperous and uh, get the um, productions and the uh, tourist attractions back up and running. Well, we certainly have done that. And on top of it, we added in uh, all of these productions as well. So uh, I think we more than fulfilled our obligation there. Now, again, this area here, we logged... Uh, no, there was some meadow here, but we did log some trees out of here. But we logged all this hillside. Uh, it's the best way to get a view at it, like that. And uh, we reforested that. Now, you can see where, again, where I went and filled in the bald spots. We have some smaller trees in there. But it, it actually looks really good. It's, it's more uh, consistent then down at the other side oops just don't have the view I want to get here but it looks good I'm really happy with that it's uh, don't really have any large clumps maybe here a little bit but they seem to be fairly evenly dispersed and like I said did nothing different <laughs> it was just the, the willy nilly thing but yeah, that turned out really good. Which is good, because that's not going to be logged again. And then if we go back here, we can get a sh look at that hillside over there. We did this hillside here too. We replanted a bunch in here. Which again, looks pretty natural, I think. Yeah, so... All in all, very successful, self-sufficient, not a huge farming operation, um, but a totally self-sufficient one, and self-sufficient in all of our productions. And uh, not only the ones in town, but the ones that we added. And in addition to the uh, roller coaster as a tourist attraction, we filled up the wood gallery as well. So... Yeah, it's been fun. I don't know what else to say. That's kind of a quick look around. It's uh, going to be different not coming on here and playing. But like I said, <laughs> the game safe can't go anywhere because uh, my granddaughter just loves riding that roller coaster. So uh, I can come back and visit anytime I want. But on to bigger and better things. So... I hope you enjoyed this series as much as uh, I did making it and I hope you will come and join me on the other series that are uh, going on Bloomfield and Stone Valley they'll probably carry on well they'll definitely carry on excuse me until uh, FS 25 and probably a bit beyond and Valley Spring is still going uh, most of the work is occurring off camera but uh, I am going to finish that up so be some episodes on that coming out here and there so i hope you will come and join me on uh, some of those adventures so if you're still with me i really appreciate you watching if uh, you haven't already i encourage you hit that uh, like and subscribe button and if you want to see when other content like this lands hit that old notification bell but for this the final time it's farmer murphy saying goodbye from silver run